How do you do? You have said not to live with a kind heart, but Hongi Gingan is supposed to live to benefit others. I am confused about living to help others and not living with a kind heart. Could you please explain? Also, you have said that we should separate if our ideas do not agree between spouses, friends, or family. However, wouldn't separation cause pain and suffering for those people? It seems like causing pain and suffering goes against the ideals of Hongi Gingan ideology. Please explain. Let's try to solve your question about living with a kind heart. We should not live with a kind heart. This is for sure. An adult should not be nice. How should an adult live? Live correctly. There is a difference between living with a kind heart and living correctly. When should you be nice? When you are young. When a child is seven years old is when they should be living with a kind heart the most. When a child reaches 14 years of age is when they need to learn about righteous living by about 30%. When a person reaches 21 years of age, they are adults. At this time, they have to live correctly by 70%. We raise our children to have a kind heart during their growth. After some development, the focus shifts from being nice or kind-hearted to living righteously. We need to study together what is living righteously. This is how we grow. Adulthood is time to live correctly, not living with a kind heart. What happens if one lives with a kind heart but not correctly? He will be deceived all the time. What happens when you live with a kind heart and are deceived? You cause society to have more bad people because you need to go through suffering. The problem is not only you suffering from deception, but you created more bad people who deceive others. Because you are the reason for creating these bad people in society, you will shed tears from pain. You will suffer later on. If you live with a kind heart, you will face suffering. If you want to continue living nice, that is your decision. However, if you live with a kind heart, the only result is that you will cry from suffering. The reason why you will cry in pain is that because you are the culprit of making society go the wrong way. Such an occurrence happens so that you will realize your fault. You are truly living for the benefit of society when you live correctly and rationally. You should not be nice because you will be producing more bad people. If people live with right discernment, then bad people will not be created. Why? Because people will not be fooled despite bad people trying to dupe them. If you live correctly, you will not be producing bad people, and therefore you will not face hardship. People have taught us in the past that we should be nice. So people lived with kind heart but then end up crying in the end. We as intellectuals need to put things in order. Scholars need to study and discuss what is living correctly in this society and form a foundation for our descendants. It is not right to blame others for being bad and thinking you did the right thing by being kind-hearted. You have to realize those bad people exist because of your kindness. So some of you may be confused about this. 
You have been taught that being nice was the right way of living for thousands of years, and suddenly some strange man comes along and tells you that living with kindness is a sin. So you're challenging me. We have to correct this. We are making efforts to develop knowledge so that we live righteously, to make the right discernment. To give you a straight answer bluntly, you should not live with kindness. You should live with kind heart while you are growing up, but after growing and living in society as an adult, you have to live correctly. If you live correctly, you will never face hardship. That is why we have to study Jangpa, which is the study of correct living, the law of nature, how to treat other people. Studying the principles of treating others correctly is called character education. So it's time now to study about human nature. Do not misunderstand me. All this cannot be explained in a short period. You may understand me a little now, but if there is just a little bit of material that you understand, then you should use that information to study. People who feel that they have to help the needy, but can't because I tell them not to be kind, think that it's unfair and want to challenge me. If you spend too much time with the poor, you will also become poor. You should not spend too much time together with the poor. The reason why you are seeing poor people is so that you would learn what needs to be done to help them improve their lives. Not to give them bread and spend time with them. You need to understand the real reason why you see such an environment. What is the reason why poor people have to be poor? You were supposed to have studied the reason why poor people are poor, not to spend time with them in tears. Do not mix with them. If you mingle with the poor, then someone else will need to come along to study your circumstances. That is why you need to grow. If you are a prominent politician, then you should think big and try to figure out how to make these poor people escape from poverty. If you try to help a few poor people, they will never disappear from society. More poor people will be created. On the one hand, people try to help the poor, but on the other hand, more poor people are produced. Why? To make us have a realization. On the one hand, a doctor treats a sick person. On the other hand, more sick people are produced. Why? to make us have a realization. Society punishes bad people by sending them to prison. Society is not studying the reason why. That is why more people are produced to go to prison. This is the current state of our society. We need to study to fix the root cause. If you don't, things will get out of hand and society will face great difficulty. As society expanded in size, an unpleasant future environment will also come uncontrollably. We have to make an effort. Aren't we learned people? We became scholars to study and make an effort to research these things. Nature did not give you knowledge so that you can live and eat well. Nature gave you a tremendous amount of energy in the form of knowledge so that you will study the society to fix and correct what is wrong. We have to take action. Even after hearing of this message, you say, all I care is about how well I live. Then nature will watch you. Because nature will not leave you alone. This is God's promise and God's message. He will not let you live like that. When I was studying under God's guidance, this was the first thing that I questioned. He told me that he would never let those people alone like that. 
He didn't tell me to believe him. However, that is what I heard. I realized what he meant at the end of my training. God is absolute. He never allows the world to function unfairly. This project is called Heavenly Reconstruction. This is starting now in Hucheon Shide or the New Era. Sunchan Shide or the previous era created many contradictions, but Hucheon Shide is the era of correcting the flaws. This is how we will improve. Does this make sense? There was another question I forgot. When friends or husbands and people around you have a different ideology, I said to separate, so you are challenging me about that. All right, let's solve this problem. If you leave the beginning and the end out and just say that I said to separate, then I become someone who said just separate. However, there is material before and after that was left out. If your ideas do not agree, then it is right to separate. When people meet, they meet to help each other. If they can't help each other, then they make their partner's lives harder to live. In this situation, it is right to separate. Why? Do not separate so that you can live better. If your ideas do not agree, then the person in front of you will face hardship. Not only will the person in front of you face difficulty, but you will also face hardship. God does not want you to live in hardship. If both your ideas cannot agree, then separate. When you separate, you must have a reason. You need to search for the reason. Do not separate just because you hate the other person. Didn't you both meet in the beginning because you liked each other? When separating, you should separate for the sake of the other person. That is also the way to solve your life problems as well. If you separate to benefit only yourself, then surely you will face a bigger problem trying to avoid a smaller problem. You will find a harder life ahead of you. If you think that you will do better by separating out of greed without thinking of your partner, then you will certainly face a harder life. Why? Because you need to realize, when you separate from a partner, you should feel apologetic because you haven't been able to help them. You are separating because it is too difficult to continue living together and so you wish your partner a better life. You feel sorry because you couldn't help them and therefore separate. If you don't want to separate completely, then at least live separately for a while. If you are separated, then at least you can't meddle in others' affairs and not get angry at each other. Try this for three years. If you separate, then you will have the time to think back about the good times together, not only bad memories. Just because you are together does not mean that you are helpful to each other. Realize that if you are not helpful to the other person, then you will suffer the consequences of not fulfilling your duty. When people meet, people meet to be helpful to each other. If you stay together despite not being helpful to each other, then you are obstructing each other's lives and making it hard for both. So think about it and try to start a new life. To explain this in entirety, then I have to take many different cases and explain everything in detail. I am solving your problem from a grand perspective, but after listening to my explanation, you may have a more detailed question that arises from it. You ask a more detailed question and I answer. You listen and think of a more detailed question from that answer, and so on and so forth. As I continue to answer and solve your questions, 
I will have solved many things so that in the end I have completely solved one subject. Do not be so greedy to receive all the answers at once. Since you ask me a question, I answer. You form another question from that answer. If I don't answer your question like this, then you wouldn't know how to ask a question in the first place. So let's solve questions one by one so that I will explain all the questions in the world for our Jungpa family to study. I will answer all your questions about the world, the universe, and the fundamental questions about the human being. Let us study and go forth step by step.